All right, Evan Dunphy, uh, nice work out there. Uh, you'd said that you're going to uh, race walk the uh, Good Life Fitness Victoria Half Marathon. Not under 140, you're three minutes faster than that. What went on out there? Ah, I'm just way too competitive. You get swept up in the moment. It's such a great atmosphere out there, and the crowd is so great. And I found a guy that we were having fun chatting together, and so he was going 137 pace. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'm going 137 pace. And yeah, I felt good. I'm pretty happy with it. So uh, not too much damage, I don't think. So that was a 21.1k of a 25k day. So you got a 4k warm up. You got to do the kids run. But this is uh, this 25k has special meaning for you uh, today. Can you talk a little bit about your kids sport? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, you know, kids sport. It's a great charity. They're they're looking at you know just getting more kids involved in sport. And uh, you know, for me today, they're celebrating their 25th anniversary th this year. So I want to do. I'm doing 25k a day for 25 days, raising money for kids sport and. Uh, and really just, this is day six, so I'm 150K in, and uh, I'm feeling really good, I'm really pumped, we're, we're connecting with so many people. Uh, all the money raised is going to kids for it, so it's, it's a lot of fun. I, you know, I got, I'm gonna head over to the kids run, do the last K, I'm 24K in, so I got one more K to do, so I'll do that with the kids, and uh, just, yeah, it's so awesome sharing my story and sharing how much sport means to me and sharing that with people. It's, you know, it's such an easy charity to get behind, and uh, on top of the, the 25K a day, I'm also doing 25 school talks, so we're getting in, we're connecting with you know, 5,000 kids, just sharing that message about how awesome sport is and you know how transformative it can be and teaching us all these great life lessons that, that you need, and you learn through sport about hard work and time management and dedication, all that stuff. So sharing that message, if anyone's interested in, in, in supporting the cause or just finding out more information, we have a website set up, it's just dunfeewalks.com and uh, people can find out more from there. That's great, so dun dunfeewalks.com, that's D-U-N-F-E. Uh, walks talking. Yeah. So uh, you still, I, I heard uh, the grapevine, you still need a couple more schools? Yeah, we're still looking for a few more schools, so most in the Lower Mainland. Uh, we got about about 18 to 19 schools signed up right now, so you know, if, you got, if, you're, if you're a teacher, if you're a parent, if, uh, if you're a kid and you want me to come to your school, uh, for sure, like, just go on the website, you can sign your school up from there and, and get in contact with me, and I'd love to come in and share my message. That's great. So, uh, now, um, on the training side, uh, you're a fairly high mileage guy that I understand, and so 25k a day uh, for 25 days isn't isn't out of your realm anyway. That's that's not something you couldn't do. No, it's it's different though. It's it's you know normally if I'm doing a 200k week, it's a couple 40k's on Wednesday and Saturday, a couple days where it's easy days, you know, a couple of speed days. Like this is just 25k straight every day, uh, so it's very different. Um, so it's been a bit of a challenge. My highest mileage week since May has been 108K because I've been dealing with uh, some rehab stuff. So big jump in mileage from what I've been doing. Um, but you know, we're trying to keep the average pace under five minutes K, five minutes per K. So it's, uh, it's been fun. So um, I watched you race uh, BC Cross Country uh, Championships. I think it was last year in Nanaimo or- Two years ago, two yeah. Two years ago in Nanaimo. And you're a very smooth runner. And you look like uh, one of the elites up there. Um, are you running BC Cross this year? Or? Maybe. So yeah. I finish my 25k a day of 25 days on October 26th, and BC Cross is October 27th. So uh, I'm gonna sign up for sure. Whether I make it to the start line or not will be a different story, but uh, we're gonna try for sure. And uh, uh, definitely, I'll look at running the the, uh, the fall classic again this year. I run the fall classic half marathon the last two years. Been trying to get myself under 70 minutes, so we'll see if uh, I can do some running training in, in November there and get under 70 minutes. Well, this base here is gonna is gonna help you there for sure. But, uh, you can't get a bit of more time in the uh, running race after race walking because uh, you're using slightly different muscle. Here. Yeah, it's completely different. Like a lot more, a lot more uh, a quad and calf and those things. I don't use too too much in race walking, so I'll need a bit of a lead in to like get back into running. You can tell the first like two weeks I spent running, you can tell that I'm a race walker. There's no knee drive. The feet are dragging across the floor, so it takes me about two weeks to get that like get that knee up. But it's, it's smooth nevertheless, at least from my perspective. But anyway, <laughs> uh, nice work here. Uh, good luck with the kids sports uh, fundraising, 25K, uh, 25 days, and peace of Yeah, thank you so much. We'll see you out there. Cheers. You bet.